concrete and water. Of all construction materials, concrete has proven to be the strongest, most durable, and most economical for building structures in marine environments. From pier pilings to dams to offshore oil platforms, concrete's excellent performance provides structures that survive even under the most severe conditions. But strong as it is, and despite its superiority to steel or wood in marine environments, concrete has its own special set of problems. The most potentially serious of these problems is cracking, whether caused by collision, overloading, or severe temperature change. In a marine environment, water quickly enters cracks, causing leakage, deterioration of the reinforcing steel, and additional cracking and spalling. And if left unchecked, the problem can quickly accelerate to one of major proportions. Since 1959, Adhesive Engineering Company and their licensees have been repairing cracks above water in structures like the cooling tower of this nuclear power plant. These structural repairs are made with an automatic two-component epoxy injection system called the structural concrete bonding process. This is a cutaway of a crack, constructed to demonstrate the effectiveness of the SCB process. After the face of the crack is covered with a removable sealant, it is filled with a special concretive injection adhesive through entry ports left in the seal. The entry ports are spaced as far apart as the concrete is thick. When the adhesive emerges from the next port, the crack section between the ports is filled with adhesive and injection is transferred upward. This procedure is followed until the entire crack has been completely filled. Within hours, the adhesive cures to structural strength and the crack is effectively restored. This is the same crack cutaway, only this time the crack has been filled with water. Notice that as the concretive is pumped into the crack, it pushes the water out ahead of it. This is due to the adhesive's higher density, which displaces the lighter water. The presence of water in the crack has no adverse effect on the curing process of the adhesive. A structural bond is developed in both underwater and dry environments. The underwater SCB process employs the same basic methods and materials as used above water. Modifications have been made only to address the unique problems associated with the underwater environment. All underwater technicians are both experienced divers and licensed applicators for the SCB process. technicians begin by making a thorough inspection of the structure, locating and logging all damage. Optional documentation by underwater photography or videotape is available. Once all of the cracks have been located, the surface of the cracks are thoroughly treated with underwater cleaning equipment to remove unsound concrete and marine growth. Entry ports for the adhesive injection are established by drilling directly into the cracks and placing steel pipe into the holes. The cracks are then purged with compressed air to remove any internal residue and maximize the bond strength. When internal contamination is severe, special cleaning procedures are tailored to the specific problem. A specially formulated epoxy paste is troweled over the surface of the cracks to contain the injection adhesive. When the surface seals harden, the cracks are purged once more with compressed air, and then the concrete is ready for injection. A 
A two-component positive displacement pump delivers the adhesive to a special mix head, which is connected to the entry ports. As on land, the adhesive is pumped into one port until it emerges from the next adjacent port. The previous port is then sealed and injection is resumed. This procedure is then repeated until the entire crack has been filled. To prove the strength of the underwater bonding process, a core sample was taken from a repaired area of the pile we just saw injected. An independent testing laboratory then conducted an ASTM C39 compression test on the core. The concrete failed at 7,000 PSI, thus providing definitive proof that the adhesive restored structural integrity to the crack. Since 1976, the SCB process has been used to repair a broad variety of submerged structures in locations all over the world. The system was used to repair cracks in the bearing piles of Portland, Oregon's new floating dry dock terminal and at Jebel Harbor, Saudi Arabia, in the Condit and Andok North Sea oil platforms, both shrinkage cracks and structural cracks were successfully restored by adhesive injection under hydrostatic heads. And under the waters of San Francisco Bay, the Transbay tube of the Bay Area Rapid Transit System was sealed from water leakage by the SCB process. These applications and others have been carried out by licensees from all over the world and remain in excellent condition today. Adhesive Engineering, a technical leader in the production and use of structural adhesives, invented the SCB process to repair cracks completely and permanently. The adaptation of this system for underwater use, backed by years of research and successful case histories, now allows concrete to maintain its strength and withstand the stresses of time.